what they are going to show to show today is the final uh, part of the series that was growing around for last one and a half month. It was about building um, application with Azure Communication Services and Teams to connect them together. I will be presenting part of the presentation today, and the second part will be uh, hosted by David. We will show you what advanced features we are providing with Azure Communication Services. Uh, first, I want to just wrap up what we saw in the last few series. So uh, we had six, uh, six dedicated videos about uh, how to bring ACS or Azure Communication Services application, how to set it up, and how to bring uh, integrate it into website that is connected to Microsoft Teams. So someone uh, from any product, for example, website, can uh, join a Teams meeting, uh, whereas people in using Microsoft Teams application can have it in native experience. We showed you how to uh, dynamically get the Teams meeting set up and the URL, how to create the identity so that you can join it from the custom website, and then how to deploy it in Azure so it's final product that you can use uh, in, in real life. So image uh, or one video will say much more than what I can summarize. So let's go through what was the final outcome of the, of the scenario. This is the custom website. This is running locally. You can see that it's using Azure Communication Services to join specific meeting. On the other side, there is a Teams, Teams application. You can see a calendar event in your calendar. When you click on it, uh, you will join Teams meeting as it is scheduled. There's Aicha uh, that is having the the Teams, this is joint Teams meeting. She admits the uh, user from the custom application, and now they are in the same call. So this was the experience that you were able to build from uh, from the last six series. There's also a tutorial how to build each individual step with uh, videos and and guidelines. So if you want, this is really good way how to start. Uh, <clears throat> let me go to uh, the next phase. So um, first of all, I would like to just bring you a little bit the introduction into Azure Communication Services. What does it do? So uh, what you saw is that there are, there are, uh, it allows you to bring communication to Microsoft Teams. There are overall uh, three big scenarios that we are enabling. The first one is virtual appointments, where you have something that you schedule in the future, uh, where you know when it will happen and you want to connect with someone in business. Uh, so on the, on the second scenario is click to call, where you want to have on-demand interaction with someone on the on the business. And the third one is product integrations. If you have existing product and you would like to enrich this product with communication, audio, video, or chat communication, or, or SMS, for example. And what type of products do we use in Microsoft for providing communication? The first one what we are using all right now is the Microsoft Teams. So this is the application that you can use. Uh, you have, we have Graph, Microsoft Graph API that's running the RESTful API so you can get more context from the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. We have Dynamics 365 as the contact center solution. And the last one is the Azure Communication Services that is powering all of those technologies to have uh, REST APIs, SDKs available for you so you can use multiple communication channels to uh, enrich your application. So, just shortly talk about Azure Communication Services itself. What we have covered is really just the audio, video, and chat. But as you can see, we have a lot of APIs so that you can enrich your experiences. We have uh, features such as uh, we are connected to phone numbers, SBCs. Uh, we are running call recording, call automation, so you can control the calls of the server side. From the messaging, we have SMS, chat, and email. So there is a real lot of APIs that you can customize and tailor to your needs. What is important, interesting uh, part about it is we are integrating with Azure Services, Microsoft 365, and Power Platform. So on Microsoft 365 integrations, we are talking about the scenario that we have showed you during the uh, last series, where you have custom application that is connected to uh, Microsoft Teams. You can think about healthcare uh, application where patient is talking to doctor, or bank uh, clerk is talking to client, or you have presentation of new products. This is what we have covered and the application of uh, the Teams meeting integration. And what is new will be covered by David, my colleague. Hey, um, yeah, so uh, we've also started to bring in uh, more integrations into the, into the Power Platform ecosystem. 
This starts with connectors across our SMS, email, and chat services so that you can send and receive uh, messages through Power Platform. Um, and we're starting to extend out into uh, components as well over the coming months. These are the current set of connectors, uh, actions, and triggers that we provide. Um, so again, across SMS, email, chat, we have uh, a variety of connectors for you to be able to, to send messages uh, directly through Power Automate. Uh, we've also started to generate uh, ones for identity so that you can also automate uh, identity and authentication flows. And we're starting to also go into calling. But um, And so you, you can see which ones are in progress there and which ones are generally available. Uh, we're actually excited to announce our receive SMS connector went into preview just a couple of days ago. So we're pretty excited about bringing that one for, uh, for customers uh, who have been asking for it. We've also started to take a look at our integration into Power Apps and Power Pages. Uh, we keep uh, hearing from customers the feedback to, to be able to bring in uh, out of the box calling and chat experiences into their apps. Um, and so we, we've we started to work through the, the first set of PCF components. We actually um, will we'll share the link in the chat, but we actually have the first set uh, uh, prototypes of them that you can start using today. They're based on our UI library for Azure Communication Services, so they're fully accessible, uh, localizable, et cetera. And we, we have them working in, in, inside of Power Apps and Power Pages. Now I'll, I'll run into a small demo, kind of showcase some of the work that we've been doing here and some of the, the, the use cases. So this is a, a sample app here that, that uh, we've created for Contoso Gym. So Im imagine you are a business, um, you built out a power app uh, in order to allow your customers to sign up on at your gym. So you show up to the gym, there's maybe a, tab, a tablet or something on the desk, you're able to fill out your information and you want to be able to kind of communicate with those with those customers. So uh, what we've done here is we have kind of the main app um, and I'll kind of show what it what happens when I run through it. So I want to just uh, briefly um, put my name in uh, for, the, for, the, for the phone number. Um, put an email, and it asks me to choose my trainer, so I want to choose Arnold Schwarzenegger because uh, I'm a Terminator fan, um, and I'm going to sign up. And so behind the scenes, what this app is doing is, is that it's triggering a number of different notifications out uh, with my sign up information. It's also uh, using our PCF components to directly show us uh, a, a chat conversation that I can have with a trainer directly so that I can ask questions. Um, you might have seen that on my phone that I got the notification of, of the of, of the actual. Yeah. Um, so I also got a notification on my phone with the with the notification from the gym. And so I'm able to kind of do that omni-channel notification across chat, SMS, as well as email uh, for my customers. Uh, what we've done next is um, imagine that uh, at Contoso Gym, um, you want to be able to provide your customers a, a personalized experience. And so uh, what we've done is we we have a an open AI bot here um, that is trained to act like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And so uh, what I'm able to do is I'm able to text Arnold, for example, hey Arnold, um, I want to go to the gym. And what we're doing behind the scenes is that we're using those Power Automate connectors that we talked about, like receive SMS, uh, send SMS, to be able to have Arnold be able to talk to me and, and respond to my to my to my request. And we're doing the same thing here on on chat. And again, we're, we're using our, our PCF components right right on on the page, uh, right, right inside of the right, right, in, right in here to be able to to have Arnold uh, be able to to talk back to me. And so. Just to show you a little bit of how these are working behind the scenes, we have a couple of different flows that we're leveraging behind the scenes um, that I wanted to kind of walk through. So the, the first one is, is this flow here, uh, where we are um, using Power Apps to trigger that flow and then using our Power Automate connectors for creating identities to first of all off, create a user token for our ACS user. And then we're we're storing some of that information into a an, an Azure table so that we can track uh, all the users that we have on our gym system, uh, be able to track their information as well as their uh, Azure Communication Services ID. 
We're then uh, triggering a child flow um, right here, which we which is called a uh, welcome notification, which is actually taking care of kind of our omni-channel notification. So here we're using our three connectors, one for email, one for SMS, and one for chat to send out a omni-channel message across uh, all those different channels for our customer. Uh, we're able to customize the messages across each of them, but you can see how easy it is to kind of bring in um, those capabilities with just a single connector to be able to, to, to talk to our different customers. Finally, in order to power the interaction that you saw here where I'm able to talk to the bot and, and get answers back, uh, we're leveraging um, our, um, we're leveraging uh, event grade in this case to be able to receive um, our, our SMS. And then we're we're triggering a flow uh, where we are making a call to to OpenAI to uh, help us generate a prompt and and help us generate an answer back to to the user uh, based on the prompt that we've designed, uh, which uh, just tells the bot to act like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and we give we have some quotes for it. Um, and then we're we're using those same connectors that we saw before uh, across SMS and chat to actually speak back to the user. So again, just to recap, we have connectors across SMS, email, uh, chat. We're able to automate the flows to create things like tokens for our users so that we can authenticate them into Azure Communication Services. And we're able to do all of that directly through Power Automate and be able to trigger those flows through Power Apps. And in addition to that, uh, as you can see, we have our, our PCF components, in this case for chat, which you're able to drag and drop on, onto your page and be able to configure to be able to quickly add chat into your application. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, David. Really, really cool stuff. Awesome, awesome. Crowd goes wild again. Hey. Thank you very much, Lisa. That's actually the, the BCF components are actually super, super cool as well. And the connectivity with connectors, all of that spot on. So absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, so thank you. Thank you for both. Mm -hmm.